Florida led the nation in new HIV diagnoses in 2019. That's according to the latest surveillance report from the CDC. Spectrum Bay News 9 reporter Sarah Blazonis takes a look at what advocates say is behind this. It's not just current clients who stay on the minds of Empath Partners and Care's executive director Joy Winheim and her team. Every time I look at a name, I remember just the stories of you know, who they were and what they did and how they made us laugh and how they made us cry. And This memorial honors clients who lived with HIV. But Winheim says not all of them died of causes related to the disease. We've done such a great job of educating our community that HIV is not a death sentence anymore and that if you are HIV positive, you are going to lead, lead a normal, long, healthy life. While that's great news, she says it's also likely part of the reason for this. According to the CDC, Florida saw more than 4,300 new HIV diagnoses in 2019, the highest in the country. The state also had the third highest concentration of cases. Winheim says it reflects what we're seeing here in Tampa Bay as well. People are willing to take the risk without using protection, without using PrEP, because if I get it, I can just take medicine and I'll be okay. There's a lot more to the story than just the overall number. Chris Gudis with Metro Inclusive Health says data from local health departments shows racial and ethnic minorities and the LGBTQ community are disproportionately impacted by HIV. That speaks to the social issues behind HIV uh, from a history of racism um, and structural uh, racism that has contributed to uh, social determinants of health that um, have promoted poor outcomes. Gudis says PrEP, a medication that can prevent infection, and viral suppression for those living with HIV are the cornerstone of a national strategy to fight the virus. Epic's offices here on North Florida Avenue are just one of its locations across Hillsborough and Pinellas counties. And in just a few weeks, they're adding a new site, a new sexual health center on 49th Street South in St. Petersburg. It's one of the areas of the city where case numbers are the highest. We feel like if we focus on the behaviors before somebody gets infected, then we have a real shot at bringing the overall numbers of Pinellas and Hillsborough counties down. In Tampa, Sarah Blazonis, Spectrum B News 9.